Welcome to Horse Head Bookends for another Gaming Friday. Not too long ago, I put out a uh, new schedule for what we're doing with the channel. And as far as board games go, we plan on having one video uploaded every week on Friday, usually with a different topic. And for the first week of the month, I hope to do something called Cult of the New, where we look at a board game that has come out within the, um, the last year or so. Well, no, not or so. Within the last year, let's try to stick it to uh, mostly new games. Will I be reviewing every new game that comes out? No, I can't do that. But I will try to do uh, one of the ones that definitely interest me a lot. And for the first one, we are going to do a quick playthrough and review of Distilled, made by Dave Beck for Paverson Games. Now, Distilled is a 1-2-5 player game where you own a distillery and you have to go and collect items and distill liquor based on whatever your signature recipe is. The game lasts seven rounds, and at the end of those seven rounds, whoever has the most uh, points wins. So I have it on the board. I have it set up for three players right now, so I can learn the game. There also is a solo mode, but we're not taking a look at that right now. Because I used to know how to play this still, but I really forgot and I need to get back into it, one thing that Paverson Games did was put out this thing in the game called Distilled First Taste. It actually shows you how to set up the game for your first playthrough and they actually tell you the moves to take so you can play along and uh, learn the strategies of the different players. There are a ton of different players that you can pick uh, along with the expansion that came out. So right now we're gonna follow along with these rules and we will learn how to play the game together. So right now, let's take a look at the board and we'll see what we're working with. All right, so here is a big view of Distilled. I cannot fit everything in frame right now, so I'll have to move the camera around as needed. Right here, you can see the main market board where we have our distillery upgrades, our uh, premium ingredients, and our uh, premium items. We got the basic market up here. You can purchase two cards per player per round. Up top is the scoring track with all the different uh, branded alcohol that we can uh, distill, along with alcohol cards, flavors cards, and the round tracker. We have some coins, we have some uh, recipe cubes, and we also have the player board, which we will take a look at right now. Okay, so here is the player board for distilled. I'm sorry if the camera's a little shaky, I'm holding it with my hand. We have our character right here. Uh, Joanna Perry de Sousa is the one, is the first player. Your pantry is for all your ingredients. The storeroom is for your items, and here are your distillery upgrades are over here. Warehouse is for the uh, alcohol that you do distilled, and over here is your um, your recipe card to show what you need to make all the different types of ingredients and you do start off knowing your signature recipe. We have the second player over here who is Zhang Jina and the third player right here is Gunhild Hellstrom. So the characters were picked by what is in this first taste guide right here and what they do is they tell you what you start with, the ingredients you start with and how much money you start with. One big difference is that in the first taste guide, they let you start with two additional money because actually on the back of the, the character cards, they tell you exactly what you start with. So what you do start with, we do actually get one extra money. You also start with three distillery goals. Now, I these are usually kept hidden, but I am going to uh, probably keep them face up most of the time. One other change when playing this way, you do not use the Spirit Awards, which is okay for now, but we're learning the game. I don't think we need them right now, and they should be easier to add into the game later. Let's get started. Again, everything is set up per the first taste instructions, which differs just slightly from a regular game. You have inherited an abandoned distillery from a distant relative and now tasked with bringing your family's business back to its former glory. Over the course of seven rounds, you will acquire ingredients, items, recipes, and upgrades to create the world's most renowned spirits. Whoever has the most points at the end of the game earns the title of Master Distiller. The way Distilled plays, every round has four phases. There's the market phase, the distilled phase, the sell phase, and the age phase. Another thing that's nice about distilled is that you do have a sequence of a round. Each round consists of uh, the market phase, 
the distill phase, the sell phase, and the age phase, and then what happens at the end of the round. We are going to follow along with this, along with what we're doing in the book right here. So with the first player, we're going to go right here, and she's from Brazil. One of the goals requires us to make America's spirits. So this round we will attempt to make cachaça. Cachaça. I always don't, can't pronounce that right. One of the two available America spirits. You'll also set yourself up to purchase discounted premium bottles through the game. Therefore, for your first turn, purchase the glass blower from the premium market for $3. Place it in your distillery upgrade section on your player board. And then we refill the premium market. So we will look at the distillery upgrade and we do want the glass blower. Now, on these cards, which we'll look at right now, It shows you the cost down in the corner on the price tag, and it will let you know how much, uh, what the card actually does. So we're gonna do this right now. So that costs three, and we have our specialist, and we refill. Okay, for the second player's first turn, she has goals, which are distillery goals are right here. Juvenile, red glass, and close to home. They tell you exactly what you need to do to score those points. Their goals are to make the most non-aged spirits and also the most spirits from the same region. Later this round, you will invest in a premium metal barrel, which will add prestige to your non-aged spirits. And you'll prepare to make your signature recipe for next round. For your first turn, purchase a sorghum from the premium market for $0.00 because of your distiller's identity discount. Place it in your pantry. And you can see on her card, which I'll bring forward and focus in on that. And uh, we do get a discount on ingredients by two. So we are going to take the sorghum, which costs two, and we're gonna place it in our pantry right there. Now for the third player. Let's see what their distillery goals are. Diverse portfolio, thirst for knowledge, and blue glass. For the third player, this round you will attempt to make your signature recipe which requires potatoes because there are some available in the premium market. So we are going to purchase the potatoes for $3 and we're gonna put it in the pantry. So we pay the three and we're gonna take the potatoes. Oh, and we have to refill. All right, we're still moving on with the the market phase. So back to the first player, and I didn't explain this uh, uh, originally. In the market phase, you take turns in clockwise order to purchase one card or queue per turn until everyone passes. You do have a limit of two basic market purchases per player per round. So we're just gonna keep buying until we can't do it anymore. So for the next move, we're gonna purchase the plastic liter bottle from the premium market for zero dollars because we do have the glass blower upgrade, which gives us a discount of one. And we're gonna put this right in our storeroom and we refill. For the second player, we are going to be purchasing yeast from the basic market for zero dollars. And it also gains us one as per the card. And then uh, finally, the third player is going to purchase water from the market at the cost of zero. And they gain, because of the uh, special ability, they gain one gold whenever we buy a basic water card. All right, we're going to keep moving on. Next, uh, next. We're still in the same market phase. So next, we are going to now buy the mixed plants from the basic market. And that is gonna cost us $1. Second player is going to purchase the stainless steel barrel from the premium market for $4. And that is really all of the second player's money. All right, now for the third player, we're gonna purchase a canister bottle from the premium market for $2. Canister bottle for $2. And we're going to refill these. Finally, we're still going in the market phase. Next, we're gonna get some water from the market for zero. Second player, because we're out of money, we're gonna get some uh, mixed grains from the market. With for nothing 
And the third place, we're going to get to mix plans for the market for one coin. Alright, so the third and the second player are out of money, but the first player does have some money left. So, because we want to be able to make some uh, alcohol, we need to uh, learn the recipe. So, what we're going to do, we're going to, for $2, we're going to purchase a bronze cube. And we get to place it next to the cachaça recipe in our menu. So now we have unlocked this recipe and we can make it as many times as we want. Second player's gonna pass, third player's going to pass, and that's gonna end round one. Moving into round two, round two is the distill phase. We place our cards in the washback, we add one alcohol per card in sugar slot, we distill the spirit by shuffling all the cards together, removing the top and bottom cards, and we add a barrel and claim a spirit label. So we are going to try to make some cachaça for the first player, which we will need yeast. We will need mixed plants. And we will need water. And what we will do is we place these all over here. So we put our yeast. We're going to put our plants, we're going to put our water, and we need to add, we need to add one alcohol in the central slot right there. Okay, for this, the second player, because we can't make anything, we can't make our signature recipe yet, we're going to try to distill either moonshine or vodka. So we're going to use some yeast, we're going to use sorghum. We're going to use some mixed grains and we're going to use some water and now we need to add two alcohol cards because of the mixed grain and the sorghum and then finally the third player is actually going to attempt to create their signature recipe so we're going to use some mixed plants we need water, we need potatoes, and we need yeast. Okay, I should have gotten yeast at one point, but I must have not taken it. So now we have yeast, and we have to add two alcohol cards because we have uh, for one for the potatoes and one for the mixed plants. So one, two. And we add the alcohol cards. All right, so now everyone has the items in their wash back. They are ready to distill. The first thing we do is we take all the cards in the wash back right here and we give them a shuffle. And we have to remove the top card and the bottom card. Now, the reason we're removing the top and the bottom card for from the decks because it says, and it, it actually tells you right in the book, when distilling alcohol, it is important to remove the first and last part of the liquid that comes out of the still, as it is poisonous. These portions are actually reused in future distillations, which is, which are, which is why you're removing the first and last card from the stack and putting them back in your pantry. So, we will take the first card, which is mixed plants, and the last card, which is alcohol, and what we have left is yeast and water so for the first player if the mixed plants remain in the stack you made cachaça otherwise you've made moonshine we have made moonshine because all that was left is water and yeast all right so let's let everyone do their stack All right, so top, grains, bottom, yeast. If the sorghum and mixture remain in the stack, you've made vodka. If neither, you made moonshine. So we have made vodka. And then finally, the third player, we're trying to make our signature recipe. All right, so we have one plant sugar left, water and alcohol. If one of the plant sugar remains, we've made vodka as well. 
So we've got a moonshine and two vodkas. All right, so what we need to do now is we need to add what we've distilled to our barrels and actually take our label. Okay, now we are moved down to the third round of the game and that is the cell phase. We take turns in clockwise order to sell one spirit per turn and we will score uh, points and money and claim spirit label bonuses. All right, had to do a quick reset on the boards because in the setup, it didn't explain that everyone starts also with a metal barrel and a glass bottle. So now that we have that, we can continue with the distilling phase. Had a bit of a, uh, an issue there, but we're good now. So now after the still phase, now we can move on to the sell phase. So the sell phase is where you sell your spirit for money and earn spirit points and claim bonuses from spirit labels. Because each player distilled a non-aged spirits, they must sell their spirits this round. So the first step is add bottles. Each player adds a bottle from their storeroom to their spirit stack. The first player should use the uh, plastic liter bottle and the third player should use a canister bottle, but everyone else can use their um, glass bottles that they started with. So we're gonna add the, not the glass, we're gonna add the plastic bottle to our spirit stack. And now that's done, we get to clean the money. Each player counts the total sell value of the spirit stack and claims that much money. And what you need to do is claim the value of the bottle, the value of the barrel, the value of listed on each ingredient in the stack, the value of the recipe, and any distiller identity bonus. And right here, we do get a bonus for it having a non-aged spirit. So let's claim the money. And then we also have to claim spirit points. Each player counts the total spirit points of the spirit stack, making sure to include the amount listed on the recipe, the amount listed on any of the ingredients, and the amount listed on any of the items. All right, so let's see what we got. We'll start with the first player. We have four money, four, five, six money. So I will get six money. And then for spirit points, I get, for moonshine, I get one. Oh, and the moonshine. I get another two for making moonshine. Sorry about that. And I get one spirit point. But then I also get minus one spirit point for using a plastic liter bottle. So I get no spirit points. Let's score second second one. So we get she made vodka. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven money. And spirit points, one, two, three spirit points. All right, so third player, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And we get, okay, so I guess I sold a regional. So I do get two. Three, four, I get four, and she is green. Okay, so there we go. All right, we sold our spirits. All right, now the age phase. Oh, wait, hold on, I think we still need another, we have to do something else. All right, now we can claim our label rewards. So, uh, first player is gonna choose a distillery upgrade and they're gonna take the tour guide. They are going to get their signature recipe, which I thought they already had, which is weird. And they are also going to start with their signature recipe. Okay, now we have to return all the spirits that contents. The bottles stay on the side because you can score points with that at the end of the game. Any of the starting items, like the starting barrel, barrel goes back. Basic ingredients go back to their stack. Premium ingredients go on the truck and alcohol gets returned as well. All right, so the next round is the aging phase. If we had any spirits that had to get aged, we would move them to the warehouse, um, and then it would be the end of the round. So we will move the round marker up to number two, and we start with the start of the round. Now, uh, for my tour guide, in the start of the round, I do get one gold or coin, so I'm gonna collect that right now. And in the rest of the first, and the rest of the first taste book, it tells you um, what your suggested strategies are 
uh, try to profit off non-age spirits so you can later uh, afford to obtain uh, the rum recipe. She wants to uh, keep distilling, trying to distill the signature recipe. And she wants to uh, start making new spirits each round. Her goal is to make a new spirit each round. So I'm going to play a few rounds without the help of the book and see how it goes. First player's right here. Let's see. We want to try to distill our signature recipe, which we need three planned sugars, and one of them has to be in, one has to include rice. All right, so let's see what we got on the board. You know what? I'm just going to take one of these green sugars. Do you need yeast and water? That's what I don't understand. It doesn't tell you. Oh, you definitely need water and yeast. We have the yeast, we just need the water. All right, it's her turn. She's going to try to make some different things. She needs recipe cubes and she wants, oh, she needs to make a lot of everything. So we are going to Sugars, mixed plants, we have potatoes. See, two, at least two, but it must include potatoes. Alright, um, we have water and we have yeast. So let's get, alright, she's gonna buy a silver cube. Gotta make something this round. Just gonna try to make a signature recipe. Alright, but I'm doing this for. Her silver cube to try and do gin. Okay. Do I have water? I have yeast. I have water. Okay. We good. All right. I'm gonna need a yeast. And we get one gold. Okay. Next up, we have that. We have that. We're gonna spend the water. So I'm gonna take water. And that caught up and I'm gonna move on. Well, I can get water and I get one of those for free. And we're back over here. All right, so we want, she's ready to distill. Um, okay, so what, see, I'm a little confused as to what to do. I have money. I think I'm gonna get a recipe for soju because she will get, she wants the most non-aged spirit labels. So you got to get a moonshine, vodka, cachaça, soju, and gin. You got to get all those. So let's do two. Let's get a recipe for soju. Okay. All right. She's ready for everything. So I'm going to pass. All right. They're passing. I gotta see, when does the market get refreshed? Oh, no, 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 okay, so this gets, this could get discarded, this gets discarded, this gets discarded. We didn't do that last time, so let's fix that. I'm gonna pass, cause I wanna create some stuff um, I want, I want that other rice for two, so I'm going to buy that. They pass, they pass, then pass. Okay, so now we're going to get to the uh, distill phase. So let's distill some stuff. Definitely need water. Definitely need yeast. And we need to put all that out, but see, that's going to add four alcohols. 
So we got to add three alcohol for three sugar. All right. She wants to sell her signature recipe. So wait, we need water. We need yeast. And we need two potatoes. And we have two potatoes. And she gets two alcohol. And then finally, I think we're going to try to do cachaça again. So we need, alright, we don't have water, but we do have alcohol. And alcohol can be used as water or yeast in the wash back. So we got that. We got that. And we have that. And we're going to try a, um, we add one alcohol to it. Alright, so let's, uh, Let's distill the spirits. All right, top card, alcohol. Bottom card, yeast. So she has made her signature recipe. That is, that is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna put this in a stainless steel barrel. All right, so let's see if let's see what they can make. Top card, yeast. Bottom card, alcohol. Yay! They made their signature recipe. And they will put it in a metal barrel. All Cuz it is a non-aged spirit. Let's see if we can make something that's not moonshine or vodka. Take these cards, and we got alcohol, and bottom, oh, mixed plants. So we have alcohol and yeast. Looks like we made moonshine yet again. We just distilled. It is time for the cell phase. So we are going to put this in a glass bottle, because it has to get bottled. This is going to have to go in a glass bottle as well. And this will go in a glass bottle also. All right, so let's do this one first. Let's find out how much money we're getting. It's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine money. And they are getting seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 points. All right, they are gonna get two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine coins as well. Seven, eight, nine. And they are getting eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 points. So that puts them up to 17. And we can put this down because they did their signature recipe. And that will go up there somewhere. Oh, I forgot to do, oh yeah, they did that. Did that, and let's do that last one. And they're getting uh, two, they're getting two coins, and one for their moonshine. They are not doing too well. All right, so let's see what we got. We got, all right, that goes back, that goes back, that goes back, back. And they are moving their signature ingredient to the pantry. We need that. What happens to signature ingredients after?
I think your signature. All right, I think I'm gonna put this back. They get that back. They get that back. Uh, rice goes there. Grains, water. She made that already, so I don't think we need that anymore. So that goes off. Oh. Okay, and this is going to go here, and she is going to take Hmm. I think she wants she wants a free upgrade. She's gonna take this market buyer right there. All right, and then what's what are we doing over here? Let's see. You got glass bottle, metal barrel, potatoes, water, alcohol, and she wants she wants another recipe cube. So she is going to uh, take a. Recipe cube and she's gonna take one for brandy uh, because she will do that later and I think that's it. This goes, this goes, this goes, we move these all down. would pass the first player token and we'd start another round. So um, those two rounds of stilled, one just on uh, using their guide and one by myself. So let's, uh, let's talk about it. Okay, so that was Distilled designed by Dave Beck from Paverson Games. And what you just saw is we actually went through this first taste guide to get a grasp on some strategy of the game and how to play. I have some thoughts, uh, good and bad on it. First of all, when it comes to a lot of, uh, I don't want to say heavy because this game is not that heavy, but when it comes to certain specific strategy type games, I really like the fact that they give you sort of a walkthrough, but at the same time, I did find there were a little issues in setting up the game to play it for the first time and some of the actual rules while they just tell you what to do. They're not really explaining necessarily why, they'll give you a snippet, but it's, it, I find it a little difficult uh, on some aspect, but because I'm pretty accustomed to playing heavier games, uh, this was very easy for me to sort of understand, uh, to notice where there might have been some issues with the instructions or the actual playthrough guide, and I could make adjustments as necessary. I also like the fact that because I will probably be teaching this to other people, that this gave me a pretty decent handle on how some of the different characters play, so I can know what to look for, how certain things work, and not just by their uh, asymmetric player abilities, but also what happens during the sequence of a round, which uh, was really helpful, especially when you have to uh, distill and you're selling and you're collecting spirit points and you're collecting money. Sometimes it gets a little confusing, but when you see it over and over again, you get accustomed to the 
uh, iconography on the cards, which makes it a lot easier. So while I think this is good for some starters, I think certain people might get frustrated by it and you might just be better off jumping into the game and uh, playing it however it's it's designed and if you make mistakes you'll learn for your second and third playthroughs if you decide to give it a second and third playthrough i most definitely will give this a, another playthrough what i really liked was the mechanic of how the alcohol gets distilled how you do have to burn the top and the bottom cards uh, because it's kind of, from what they're saying, it's really what happens when you're distilling alcohol. And it's sort of a, uh, kind of a chance you have to take when distilling uh, alcohol, I guess in real life and the game. Uh, with the first player, they weren't able to get anything. They had to make moonshine twice because their ingredients got had to get taken out of the distill, distilling process. Whereas the other two players were able to make their signature recipes, which gave them a huge jump uh, on the scoring track and with money and it's oh, we're only getting into the third round so um i i enjoyed the game uh, i can see people not necessarily liking it but i think the theme is fantastic and i really like the way it it plays and i like um there's i don't see much in player interaction uh and i can see it having a bit of ap when it comes to figuring out what you want to do because you do want to try to distill something every round so you can get the most money and spare points so you can buy stuff in upcoming rounds. Uh, so I do like that and I was extremely happy with this game and I can't wait to teach it and get it to the table again. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to click on subscribe, ring the notification bell. You get notified as soon as I upload a new video. Questions or comments, feel free to post them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, talk to you later. Thank you.